what is up my crazy subscriber this is joe king john second point today i want to talk about the hunters arena if you guys have not played this game yet it's available for free on ps4 and ps5 and uh, i'm not sure for xbox but i know it's been available on pc since last year so um i've been playing this game over the past weeks and i'm telling you this game is pretty fun for me it's doesn't involve any guns you know i've been tired of shooters for the past i don't know months and you know i just wanted something fresh something new and i'll jump into this game Reminded me a lot about Dynasty Warriors combined with like Final Fantasy or something because it does have a lot of RPG MMO elements, you know? Um, you don't just go out there in the battlefield just to kill people and collect equipment. Like, no, it's not like that. You actually have to level up your character and collect equipment and craft equipment. So it involves a lot of, you know, steps to become the best player out there that's not beatable, you know? So you, you pretty much solidify yourself as a freaking badass legend towards the, the last circle. So uh, you start off at level one, you jump down into the battlefield, you get to kill a bunch of NPCs also along the way. You see, those NPCs are not just there for decoration. They help you to level up. So you start off at level one, you kill like around like three random NPCs, you get to level up to level two. So your combat power goes up, your strength goes up, your HP goes up. You know, the more you increase all these stats, the better it is for you to survive towards the last circle and take out a whole army because at the end, it gets so wild, man, because there's a lot of teams just in the last circle. It's just a total mayhem, chaotic scene to see. Safe area has been secured. <laughs> the barrel is shrinking. <laughs> Kill the assist of the barrel. Fight. You gotta like learn the combat style of this game before you just like go out there like a maniac uh but you can also go there out there like a maniac and learn because that's how i did it <laughs> talking about winnings um the currency in this game there's a big bad side about this game a big negative uh the currency is um every time you win it's not enough literally that's not enough man and everything is super expensive in this game even the skins the skins are like 36,000 or 20 28,000 to even buy something you know and you're over here earning like 100 coins a game barely like crossing 150 that's uh that requires you like to at least play 100 games just for one skin and i don't even do that for apex man i barely played like 320 a season the only highest one I ever had was the 550 or something like that on, on season season nine. So um, I don't know how they're going to do it, but they got to like lower the cost of the skins or increase the winnings per game because I won and I'm not earning enough, man. It's way too less that I'm earning here. So um, that's the biggest complication of this game. Everything is too expensive because it's pretty free to play, man. So um so that is it guys I want to talk about today. The game is quite good for me. I like it. I'm not sure about you guys, but you guys might want to try it out, you know. Get yourself some fresh games out there and you know with melee weapons and stuff. So go try it out and um that is it. I want to give a game this game like a 6.5 out of 10 because we don't even know if it's gonna survive. Especially since you know it's a battle royale game with problems with currency. But don't get me wrong, the gameplay, the visuals are pretty darn good. The only problem is the the infrastructure like the currency and stuff so let's hope the battle pass can save this game from dying over the next few months i want this game to succeed don't get me wrong like i want this game to succeed but there's a lot of things that's holding it back so that is it leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> Next safe area has been secured.
secured. Super skill unlocked. Rising star. 